Today, we put head-to-head -head two brand new packs from two well-established companies. As we take a look at the Mountain Smith Mayhem 45 and the Kelty Zip 48. Well, that's right, folks. Really excited for this video because recently this year, Mountain Smith and Kelty, two really well established backpacking outdoor companies, have released some new lines and some new updates to old lines, which is really cool. And I've had a chance now to use both of these packs on several day hikes. So I have a really good feel for both of them. Now, I went out with the money that we generate here at the channel, purchased both of these backpacks to be able to give you guys a really good, firm idea of what you can expect when you're looking at these two packs, what you can get out of them, their pros and cons, and ultimately which one is probably better for your needs and usage. Now, the reason that I picked up both of these backpacks and the reason that I'm putting them head to head is because they have this crossover capability with large yoke systems, and load-bearing waist straps means that both of these packs have a crossover capability as either large day packs that you can go out and see a lot, experience a lot on the trail, carry all the gear that you would need from food and rain gear and a couple survival supplies and have everything that you would need, maybe some camera gear to, to capture and remember the trip that you just went on on that day hike. But they also have the crossover capability to possibly be small, lightweight, overnight backpacking packs that could carry all of your supplies, tent or hammock, a couple meals with you so that you could go on a few days excursion or possibly even as an ultralight through hiker, get several days out of these packs. They have that possibility to be used in either format because of their size, but also their layout and design. Not being too big, but also not being too small and being designed with the idea of being able to put the weight more on your hips and less on your shoulders. So let's go ahead and throw these side by side. So the Mountain Smith comes in at two pounds, 15 ounces because of the Spectra fiber nylons that they've gone with and an ultra light internal frame. The Kelty weighs in at three pounds, five ounces, so six ounces heavier, mostly because of the 210 and 420 denier nylon on certain points of the body and the rigid external frame that they're using with their new Nautatech suspension system. And so since we're on the subject of suspension systems, what the Mountain Smith has is a non-adjustable setup here with nice yoke system that goes straight into the back body here with some uh, breathable points to get it off your back. And then a th pretty thin but large winged uh, waist strap, hip strap, to help distribute the load onto your hips versus onto your shoulders and designed to fit torso sizes 16 to 20 inches in size. There is a rigid board with uh, spring steel rods in there as well to help give it the support that it needs with a maximum rating of 45 pounds in the bag. Where the Mountain Smith is pretty standard and what you see on a lot of packs, the Kelty offers something completely different. It has almost a hybrid external frame idea to the design with a frame going all the way through on the exterior of the bag and then this completely adjustable yoke that slides all the way up or down and is adjustable when it is on your back very quick easy and it's designed to handle um, torso sizes 16 to 22 inches so those larger body types like myself i'm 6'2 and weigh 215 pounds this will give you those extra inches that you may need on those larger body sizes and if you're smaller it's going to be able to shrink down and get nice and tight over your shoulders balancing the pack properly this will also have a more rigid firm uh, hip belt to better stabilize the loads in my experience from what I have seen, making the load more on your hips and giving it the durability and strength that it needs to support the pack versus on the Mountain Smith because of its lighter, thinner kind of wing design, making it so that more weight ends up riding on your shoulders. Now, as we go to size and exterior capabilities on the Mountain Smith, you're gonna be looking at 44 liters overall size. And on the Kelty, you're gonna be looking at 48 liters. And as we walk around the bottom, Body of the Mountain Smith, we have very large mesh dump pouches for a Nalgene water bottles, uh, possibly even one or two man size tents or tarps that you could stuff in there and then lash to the body. 
Those will be on either side of the bag, same size. So as we walk around the Kelty, what we're gonna find are ambidextrous water bottle sleeves like the Mountain Smith, but they're gonna be slightly smaller. So they're not quite as large, they're not quite as flexible. They have a little bit more rigidness to it, stronger elastic um, lips on them with little attachments for your Nalgene so they won't fall out. And they'll be a little shallower. So they're super ideal for water bottles. You can get some one and two man tarps in there, but it will be a little trickier. And depending on size, the Mountain Smith may be able to handle larger um, uh, tarps and tents better than the Kelties in these water bottle size pockets better on the sides of the Kelty versus the Mountain Smith. The hip belt wings will just have mesh stuff pockets for snacks. On the hip belt, you will get zippered pockets. So you are able to carry more valuable things in these pockets and they're ambidextrous on the other side uh, on the Kelty than you would on the Mountain Smith since the Mountain Smith just has elastic and it's a dump. So you could fit smaller cell phones, keys, wallets, those type of things, and not be worried about them falling out on the Kelty. Attachments for trekking poles on either side. On the back panel here, we have a little bit of daisy chaining that you could run carabiners through and a large stuff pouch that you could also fit one to two man sleeping systems in, a raincoat, sandals, lots of different stuff will fit right down in here. On the back side, we have these two huge pockets that have been divided down the center that you can easily get two, one to two man tarps and tents in. Uh, water bottles, other jackets, raincoats, whatever you would like, will easily be able to fit in there and ride comfortably. You'll also get attachments for your trekking poles. Now on the bottom, they're not gonna offer any compression straps or attachment straps to either compress the bag if you're using it uh, with lighter loads or to possibly attach your tents or sleeping systems, tarps down here. There's no real options for that on this bag. The nice thing about the Kelty is that it does have compression straps on the bottom that they give you generous space in that you could easily get your tarps and tents strapped in on the bottom if you are using this more of a backpacking style pack or if you're not having a lot of gear in there and you wanna cinch down the bag, gives you compression to really thin out the bag so it doesn't have excess bulk sagging around. You'll get your standard lid pocket, very deep, large, with your little attachment for your keys. Now, different than most bags that you're gonna find on the side of the lid is where you will find that YKK zipper pull and the pocket that goes onto the lid. Now, this lid pocket, though about the same size as the Mountain Smith, is a smaller opening, so you're, it's a little trickier to get things into, and again, being on the side of the bag, and there is no key keeper little attachment in there. Medium size hydration port on one side of the bag, the right side of the bag that you can feed your bladder into the body. And then we have two YKK zippers that will unzip to give you the main compartment, which will go all the way, particularly if you depress. So you have a really good access to the entire compartment of the main bag. On the rear side, you're gonna have this mesh pocket right here that you can get some valuables. And then you will have your attachment system, bladder sleeve, access to the frame and the rest of the compartment is just a big giant dump so you can throw all your gear that you may be carrying for day hikes or lightweight backpacking trips in the main compartment now this will have two attachment points right here you flip the lid up and you have a main stuff compartment with a nice large drawstring and the way that this is designed as a top loader they do give you a zipper that is ykk with a pass through to get into the interior of the bag if you need to get something real quick that you've sank to the bottom of the bag and then you're able to zip it back up. It has that large compartment there for your water bladder attachment, uh, central water port that is very large. You can get a lot through that, larger hoses and mouthpieces through that port right there. But since the frame is on the exterior, no access to it obviously this way and then the rest of it is just that large dump pouch that you throw all of your supplies and gear in. Now, the last thing before I give you my conclusion and which one I enjoy using more, I wanna hit price with you. Now, I will have links in the description below for you guys over to Amazon as well as backcountry.com. We appreciate when you use those hyperlinks because as I said earlier, I went out, 
purchase both of these packs individually on my own so I can really get a good feel for it, give you all of my honest feedback so that you can have all the data points that you need when you're looking at this size range of packs and particularly the Zip series or the Mayhem series in these larger sizes. The Kelty Zip 48 is gonna run you about $170 regardless if you look over on Backcountry, Amazon, or lots of other sites. Whereas the Mountain Smith is gonna run you about $180, so about $10 more for the Mountain Smith on those same sites with the links that we offer to you guys below. But for me guys, it really comes down to one thing that we experience when we were out on the trail testing out these packs. So there's a major gap that keeps forming on the bag because I keep cinching these down. So I'll cinch these down, bring the bag up onto my shoulders and you know, get the hip belt properly loaded. So this feels good, but after half a mile, uh, these have loosened up and it's starting to slap my back and starting to sag down lower on my pants. So uh, onto my butt, like the lower part of the pack is starting to get onto my butt instead of my hips and my uh, waist. So I'm not digging that so far. I'm gonna try and mess the pack a little bit more to see if I can figure that out, but it's not good as of yet. So Rob, uh, tell me about your pack. We're eight miles into this trek. How is your pack feeling with that Kelty? Real good, real good. Just since we left uh, to come back, haven't even adjusted it and no fatigue, shoulders are good. Waist is good, it's sitting on my, my hips pretty good. So no no complaints. Awesome. It's uh, working pretty good right now. So. Awesome. What about yours? It's good. <laughs> I want this pack off my back. Um, this constant adjustment and me having to constantly cinch these things down and my, my shoulders are fatigued at this point. Uh, and I got a gap again, so I'm gonna cinch it down again. I'm ready for this pack to get off of me. So, sadly, I would say if I'm gonna do a 10 mile day hike with, let's say 15 to 20 pounds in it, or more, I'm gonna go with the Kelty over the Mountain Smith. The weak tension on the Mountain Smith straps that attach the shoulder strap to the lower part of the body and the lower torso size of 20 inches maximum, and I'm about a 21 inch torso, so a lot of 20 inch packs can fit me, but I can usually tell that they're not quite fitted perfectly for me. That smaller size and that constant weight being pulled off of my back and then starting to slap my back is kind of a non-starter for me. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these style packs, yes, there are little idiosyncrasies and differences between how they decide to lay out the body and the stuff sacks and the water bottles, which maybe would gravitate one way or the other to you. But when it really comes down to it, which one is more comfortable? Which one can carry the load better and fit your body type better? And for me, what I've found, particularly with that loosening of those straps, the Mountain Smith just can't cut it for me. Now, there may be a quick remedy that you yourself could kind of modify by getting one of the uh, strap keepers that are easily available, and I'll have a link in the description below over to Amazon for these, that you then are able to roll up the excess and kind of clamp it down so there's no excess travel for the straps. That may alleviate some of that back slap and loosening up over time. But even if I do that, one, I have to spend more money to get the backpack working for me, and two, just the overall distribution of the weight was not done as well as this new exterior suspension system that Kelty has come up with. Not only does it distribute the weight for me much better with the stronger, denser hip belt, uh, but also the added two inches going up to 22 inches of torso sizing makes this just fit me a little bit better. And then no back slap because the pack was, has not come off of my back and started causing that gap and that slapping as you're walking. All those things add up to a more comfortable ride for a longer period of time when you're on the trail. And that's kind of a no brainer for me. And of the two, having used them both equally, having given them to buddies equally to use and carrying equal load weights, I find that if I had to pick between the two, I'm gonna go with the Kelty. It's gonna be a little bit cheaper. I'm gonna get uh, about four more liters of size, better support and a more comfortable ride. And as I'm looking to cut down my backpacking system by quite a bit to try and do much lighter, faster treks and go over longer distances, having these bottom compression straps that I can lash uh, my sleeping systems to really help 
augment the capability of this backpack into possibly a multi-day backpacking system that the Mountain Smith just doesn't offer. So there you have it, guys. That's my data. That's my experience. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, particularly if you own either of these backpacks, of what you feel like, what they offer to you. Now, they do have a lot of different sizes as well. These are the larger in the Zip and Mayhem series. They do, again, make these both for men and women to fit the body type properly, which is awesome. Again, all those will be in the links for you guys below. Uh, and I wasn't really carrying the load uh, quite like the old Mayhem series. I loved the old Mayhem series. I had a 35 and a 45 and loved both of those backpacks. This one just doesn't seem to have quite the capability as that older generation does. Whereas in my experience, from what I've seen now, these Kelties are nailing it. So I hope this video has been fun, entertaining, informative, and giving you the data that you need to make those wise choices. That's what we always wanna do here is just give you the info, then you can make those choices to uh, best get the gear that's gonna fit your needs and you'll be the happiest with. So thank you so much for coming over here today. We invite you to subscribe, become part of the GT family. You can hit that little subscription button, check out the other video popping up right now. We're throwing up videos every single week. You can follow us along also on Instagram and Facebook so you can see what's up and coming, different way to interface with me. And finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.